like and subscribe and you will have amazing luck for the rest of the week hey what's up guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video i will read your mind make sure to watch till the end to see a trick where i will guess your name this trick will shock you so don't miss out on that also comment your answer to each question as we go through them i'm interested to know what everyone has to say all right first take a look at this picture can you see a rabbit or a duck comment below your answer and i'm interested to know what everyone has to say there isn't a definite answer for this one because some people will see the duck and some people will see the rabbit or sometimes you will see both of the animals. Now I want you to answer these questions out loud for me and then after that I will read your mind. What's 1 plus 1? What's 2 plus 2? What's 4 plus 4? And what's 8 plus 8? Alright now name a vegetable. Comment down below what vegetable you are thinking of. Alright, so were you thinking of a carrot? Let me know in the comments if I just read your mind and guess what vegetable you were thinking of. So now, take a look at this picture here. This picture has had many people confused because people don't know if this girl is above the water or if she's below the water. Comment what you think the answer is though. Is she above or below the water? So the answer is that the girl is actually above the water. You can tell this because the hair is actually completely dry. So did you get this correct? Next, I'm going to play a sound for you. Make sure you have headphones on for this or it won't work properly. If you need to pause the video right now and get some headphones, trust me, it will be worth it. Now that you have headphones on, listen to the sound. So did you get tricked by this sound and think someone was knocking at your door? This is a realistic audio of a door knock sound that tricks almost everyone who listens to it. Let me know in the comments if you were tricked by this. Now, we have this train. Is this train moving forwards, backwards, or is it switching directions? This optical illusion is actually crazy because if you focus hard enough, you can change which way the train is moving. The way you do this is that if you stare at the left side of the train, it will look like it's going backwards. And if you look at the right side of the train, it will look like it's going forwards. Try this out for yourself. Next, I want you to think of a shape, something like a square, but not a square, since that's too easy. Alright, now what I want you to do is think of another shape, around your first shape. Alright, were you thinking of a triangle inside of a circle? Let me know in the comments if I just guessed exactly what shapes you were thinking of. Next, take a look at this sentence. Can you find the hidden mistake in this image? I'll give you a couple seconds to try and figure it out, then I'll tell you the answer. So if you look closely, you can actually see that this sentence is grammatically incorrect because it says 70% of the the public can't spot the mistake. Whereas it should have said 70% of the public can't spot the mistake. Let me know if you got this one right in the comments or if it was too hard. Now, I want you to think of an odd number between 1 and 50. Make sure both numbers are odd and the digits are not the same. Comment what number you are thinking of as well. Alright, so were you thinking of the number 37? Let me know in the comments if I just read your mind. Are there two dogs in this photo, or is it one? Let me know in the comments, and I will be responding. Say these words out loud with me. Lost? Coast? Roast? Ghost? Host? Woast? Post? Quost? Nost? Boast? Alright, now tell me, what do you put inside of a toaster? Did you say toast? If you did, that's wrong, because we actually put bread inside of a toaster. Look to your left. Did you actually look to your left, or did you look to your right, like this arrow is pointing? This arrow was put here to trick us into looking the wrong way. Let me know which way you looked. Next, I want you to think of a shape that has straight lines. It can't be a square though, since that's too obvious. Comment what shape you're thinking of as well. Were you thinking of a triangle? Let me know in the comments if I just read your mind and knew exactly what shape you were thinking of. Next, I've got a question for you guys. What weighs more? Is it 1,000 pounds of bricks or 1,000 pounds of feather? Comment below which one you think is heavier as well. They both weigh the same. They both weigh 1,000 pounds. 
can you find a mistake in this photo? Make sure you look closely, then I will tell you the answer. Good luck, everyone. So if you look at the sentence, it says, can you find the the mistake? But it should say, can you find the mistake? Let me know if you got this one right or if it was too hard. Next, I've got a trick where I can actually guess your name. So first, we will add up the letters you have in your name. For example, if you have four letters in your name, then your starting number will be four. But of course, everyone will have a different name, meaning you will all get different numbers. Now, if you have any of these numbers, A, E, I, O, or U in your name, I want you to add five onto your number. If you don't have any of these letters in your name, then add 8 onto your number. If you are a boy, multiply your number by 2. Now if you are a girl, multiply your number by 4. If you are a boy, take away 4 from your number. And if you are a girl, take away 8 from your total number. If you are a boy, split your number in half. If you are a girl, take away a quarter from the number. Now, subtract the number of letters in your name from the total. Now that you are done, you should be left with a one digit or two digit number. Let me know if you found your name on the list and comment your name in the comment section and I'll reply. Next, we've got these two monsters. Which monster do you think is bigger? The monster in front or the monster in the back? Well, the truth is these two monsters are the exact same size. Next, we've got this hallway illusion. So there's actually a way that we can change the speed we're going down this hallway. Now, the way you do that is you put your hand in the middle of your screen and it will feel like you're going fast but then if you get your hand and put them on the side of your screen it will look like you're going slow try this out for yourself by putting your hand on the side of the screen then move your head to the middle and watch the speed change Now we have this optical illusion that will trip your eyes and make you see things. So what I want you to do is look at this for about 5 seconds, then look at your wall or around you and you should start seeing things. Let's try it out. Anyways guys, that's it for these cool mind trick readings, including a trick where I guessed your name. Let me know what your favorite mind reading trick from the video was. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. This has been Top 10 Speed, but before we go, click one of the videos on the screen right now and I'll meet you there. Peace.